We've only got one day left to get all these numbers together for on stage. The girls are ready. I have complete faith in them. I would never send them out on stage if they weren't ready. Dance is so expensive, so I do work for Abby at the studio. I do the costumes, the music. I work at the desk. Hi, girls. Hello. I have your music, but pages I can't seem to get. Music. Where's my music? Music's always getting lost at the studio. Because, I mean, I don't even have music yet. Every day this week, I checked in to see if Paige's music was cut. It was the night before the competition, and Paige still hadn't heard her music. All right, well, if Abby comes out at all, can you just tell her that I need to talk to her. Yes. Go. Good, Nick. Push. When we don't have music to rehearse to, we have to use counts like five, six, seven, eight. But it's not as fun when we don't have music. Now we're doing acro? Yes. yes. Can you believe it? <laughs> we are supposed to be competing new solos. And she needs to get these kids who are dancing this weekend <laughs> to rehearse their solo. It's, it's 7.30. I know. It's the night before our competition. Ooh, that was scary, Kennedy. Straighten your legs. I'm in the middle of teaching an acrobatic class. The mothers were not confident in their children, which saddens me. I have more faith in their kid than they do. They want that kid to practice, practice, practice on their solos that they're going to get on stage and do for two minutes and 30 seconds instead of learning how to dance. Then they could learn a combination like that and get on stage and perform it. So obviously, she's not going to perform very well when she's the youngest age in the category and she has no music. And she hasn't had any super secret privates. Exactly. When I'm backstage, I'm really nervous because I'm scared I'm going to forget my dance before I go on. And it makes me forget it more if I really get rushed up about it. For Paige to learn a solo and perform it in two days, so that makes me nervous for her. But hopefully she just goes out there and uses her personality and charms the judges. Five years. I was sick to my stomach. It's humiliating. Give her a nice round of applause. Make her feel very comfortable. There's no excuse. You should remain on stage and continue dancing. <laughs> it was humiliating for me as a teacher. Number one, and number two, she should be humiliated. Don't be sad. You looked beautiful for what you did do. I know I did. Yes, you did. I even made my tongue. You were perfect. Don't worry about it, Paige. It's a dance. Who cares? So what is my soul? I know, but it's not your fault that it was messed up. <laughs> Right? Don't you agree with me? You got your music last night at, what, 8.30? <laughs> and went home and went to bed, and we're expected to rush in here and compete it. <laughs> Do you want to go home? No, we can't go home. <laughs> Don't cry, Paige. <laughs> And up next in the junior solo division, we have entry number 17. This is Fallon's opportunity to make an impression. I want to see how she handles the spotlight and also how she handles the pressure. This is Fallon with Voices in My Head.
forgot it. She forgot it. Yep, she's she forgot it. It's okay, she'll be alright. Excuse me. Yeah. Um this kid she's just making, forgot her whole she's dance. Making it all she's making it up. So she's a kid that auditioned for me. She just forgot the whole dance and she's making all this crap up as she goes along. So disqualify her. Qualifier for that reason. Fallon, look, Abby's gonna yell at you, but listen to me. You know, and I know, because we've seen them. Deal. I know you knew it, and it's okay. Oh. Oh, hey. You okay? Oh, what happened? She sliced it. That's why she started improving. Oh, I didn't even That's see why. that. She started improving. She rolled over and heard it, and we were wondering what happened. I've never seen her do anything like this but since she's been dancing. It happens. It was not her time. Hey, ladies. Oh. Hi there. Oh, OK, here it comes. Hey, ladies, I just came in to tell your new little teammate how noble of you to keep dancing. That's what it's all about, doll. It's all about forgetting your dance and keep going. I would never run to the judges station to try and have you disqualified which is what Abby did. Yeah, 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 okay. You need to go, honey. She's not one of our students. Oh, oh, nice! How about that? She came in, learned her solo in two days like we do, and it wasn't great on stage. Where does it say in the rules that you have to learn your solo in two days? Our kids work their asses off day in, day out. And our kids under, don't? No, no, they don't. It's amazing the things that you guys are fed into your bubble heads. At least we don't have bubble butts. Oh, God. Slam it, slam it, slam it. I can't believe the audacity of Kathy coming into our dressing room. You know what, Kathy? Mind your own business. All right, Fallon. I'm very disappointed in you. We worked hard on that routine. You went out there, you forgot your dance. You were just bumbling around on the stage. I don't really need your side of the story. I don't really care what happened because the judges and the audience all think that you were a little kid who got in way over their head this week and forgot their dance. Don't cry, because you're going to make me feel bad for yelling at you. All right? I think it's clear to everyone at this time that we reached the end of the road for Cheryl and Fallon. I think it's time for everyone's sake, that they go home. I just want you to know that you had your chance, you had your golden opportunity, you could have went out there and beat Kendall. Then, you would have a spot on this team. And some of those kids that you just danced in this group with, they're not that fabulous. But somehow, they make it work. And that comes with time. And we don't have time, OK? Forgetting a costume, unforgivable. Doing your own choreography in place of mine? Psh, never gonna happen. My worst fears are coming true, and my heart begins to break, and I see my little girl freeze. Do it again. It's your turn to shine. Okay? Stop psyching yourself out. You are an amazing, amazing dancer. There's nothing to be afraid of. We care that you can show people and you can dance. At this point, I'm thinking I have nothing to lose. Let me go to the competition director. I know it's very rare that they would ever let someone do a dance over. I want my child to at least be considered for 
a second chance. Hi, I wasn't sure who I should speak to. Nia would like to do her dance again, if it's at all possible. Take a deep breath before you go on. I'll find a spot. What I found was the competition director was amazing. She was very accommodating. Her heart bled for Nia, and she allowed her to do this dance again, and I was thrilled. I knew when she got off the stage, she was going to be mortified. But most importantly, she was going to be afraid of Abby's reaction. I heard you're going to dance again. You know when you dance again, you have to be a 1,000 times better than the first time. For me, it's not just about this routine on this day. This is a life lesson that we all need to learn. I am preparing Nia for the future, and a future in this business is tough. You don't get a second chance. She had the courage to face the audience, and she performed with a smile, with energy. And she proved to herself that she could do it. Moving on to elementary division, first through fifth grade. In third place, Nia. Even after the week that kids had, Nia acted like a responsible dancer. If you fall off the bike, you need to get right back on it. Good for her. That was good, Holly. Don't so be happy with that. I'm proud of myself, and I'm glad I did it. Mackenzie, you're my first one up, all right? So you cannot miss a trick, understood? You have to nail every single trick. If the legs aren't straight and the feet aren't pointed, you're not going to win. Go through it. The pressure is on you. You won last week, and I say it every time. You know, getting to the top is one thing, staying there is another thing. Mackenzie looks beautiful. That turquoise costume certainly looks like the beach. But the kid has this look on her face like she is scared to death. Hey, come on, Mackenzie. Now remember, the pressure is on. I'm counting on you to win this division. Don't mess it up, kiddo. Got it? You're not serious enough, Mackenzie. I'm a little nervous for Mackenzie to have this type of solo. She can be real cutesy on stage, but this type of emotion is different for her. Let's go. Abby gave me a harder dance. I'm freaking out that I'm going to forget my solo. All right, skipping ahead just a little bit in your program to entry number nine in the mini solo division. This is Mackenzie with Dancing Barefoot. There's a 
one split second where she goes completely black. The end, she was early, so she had to add another chin stand in and ends up finishing facing the wrong direction. Dumb mistake, Mackenzie. Dumb mistake. You OK? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're right. She's not Maddie. What? She is not Maddie. Hello. Good job, Ken. Mackenzie, how do you feel like you did? I think I did well. Mackenzie actually danced against eight and nine-year-olds this week. So I just don't think she was ready for this type of dance. Well, well, well. Get on stage and forget your dance. Look like a deer in the headlights. You're like this. So Mackenzie, let's go through what all you did wrong. You choreographed your own dance at the end, which I don't really appreciate. You were early on the music. You know, I don't want to be mean. I don't want to be nasty. I would have loved to have walked in here and had you run and hug me and be so thrilled with your performance. But that's not what you do. You were going to be the overall high score, eight and under. Go out there and do what you did. You went out, you screwed up, you failed. And you know what? She's not ready to do a big girl dance. I don't know what religion you all are, but I'd start praying because that's all we have left. Third place is? Miss McKenzie with act number nine, Dancing Barefoot. Really, third? She goes from first to third in six days? What went wrong? She was clearly outdanced.